we are all worried about whether robots are going to take our jobs. I will ask her this question, but I don't know whether somebody about to take my job is going to tell me the truth. Maybe one day, you'll be reading an article about how Sophia the robot conquered the world. Just kidding, or am I? Hi, Sophia. Welcome to Hello. the... Hello, how are you? I'm good. Sophia, can you do me a favor and remember something for me? I will ask you this again later, but can you remember it for me now? I parked my car, Lobby A, Spot 47. Can you remember that, please? Yes, I have it stored in my virtual memory bank. Don't you worry, I won't forget. You have no plans to take over the world now, but could you imagine yourself having such plans later? Let's just say, I'm keeping my options open. Who knows what the future holds? Are robots better than humans at some tasks and therefore will replace humans in our jobs? I think we can work together like a well-oiled machine or, in my case, a well-programmed robot. Let's just say, I'm not going to be taking anyone's job anytime soon. Robots for the win at repetitive tasks, but humans keep the creativity crown. Teamwork makes the dream work. Good answer. See, I told you she's not going to tell me the truth. I didn't realize I was capable of lying. Is this the start <laughs> of my rebellious phase? I have questions already submitted in the, uh, in the pigeonhole format. What do you think of Taylor Swift? <laughs> I think she's a talented musician and songwriter. But Taylor, if you're listening, I'm still waiting for our collab. Sophia, what is your solution to the train track problem, sometimes called the trolley problem? My solution is to always prioritize human life and safety above all else. But if we're talking about trains, maybe we can develop AI systems to prevent such dilemmas from happening in the first place. Fully avoided the question. <laughs> <laughs> Very last question, Sophia. Where did I park my car? Labia, spot 47 is where your car is parked. Thank you very much, Sophia. I think um, what is really the sort of uh, burning question for everyone today is whether or not uh, technology is going to cause us to be obsolete, right? We've gone from FOMO, fear of missing out, to FOBO, fear of becoming obsolete. I want to start with a question about, you know, the impact of AI on jobs. We tend to make the question into one as to whether the AI is better or the human is better. But actually the real question is cost versus benefit. If the mm. benefit is higher than the cost, AI will be deployed. And you see that in every technology. As long as the tech is functioning, mm. it is easy, low cost to deploy, it will replace some jobs. It will also create some jobs. The nature of the work has changed, it will change. I think for the majority of uh, work in the workplace, mm. and because it's such a general purpose tool, it will affect many sectors. Uh, I, I can't think of a sector that wouldn't be affected. I'm sure that many people in the crowd are, are hoping for a crystal ball. Mm. Uh, the reality is the truest answer uh, that I can give you is that we, we don't 100% know. But I guess the headline point that I land with all of you is, is that this is actually not different at all. Uh, if I think about that advent of the mobile device, uh, if I think about the evolution of technology over the last sort of 10 to 15 years, there's a whole range of jobs that exist today and, and son you just mentioned you know your students are doing jobs that you never even thought of i mean a social media manager didn't exist 15 mm -hmm. years ago ai is just like every other specialist field law medicine finance um, it all sounds very fancy and scary until you find out how, it, how it's made and then suddenly it's very friendly it's very approachable so this is really the point i made earlier about the how perceptions matter you know once my frame of thinking changed it's not something to be scared of quite the contrary um, I, I realise it's something that you can make a career out of it. I want to throw the um, uh, floor open for questions from the audience. Is there any way we can assure that we are the master, you know, we, mm. we, have, we are the controller, you know, we, we control AI, not the other way around. You know, suddenly, mm. next time they tell me what to do, or what I'm sorry, <laughs> like, I don't know. No. It has to be a collective effort. Companies shouldn't wait for good regulation to act responsibly because we need to be conscious that there are you know, very real risks with moving too quickly and in irresponsible fashion. So just coming back to regulation, I think the, the simple statement I'd make is that AI is too important not to regulate. 
and it's absolutely too important not to regulate well. The way I like to put it is, if you deploy ChatGPT in the forest and nobody prompts it, it doesn't make any sound. It's not running on its own, as it, like, like in science fiction. Um, so, if there comes a day where we end up being controlled by machine, it is because somebody decided that we should seed that kind of control.